the defeat it. against Hibs today, what did you make of the performance overall? Um, I think that, to be honest, I, I spoke to Grant after the game and I said to him, you know, it's one of the best performances that I've seen Hibs play and for us when a team's playing at that level then you can't make errors, you can't make mistakes. I think that we really suffered from the, the first goal where Kims came out um, really early and, and and from there you're kind of thinking, right, okay, when you, you go down against a team of this calibre, how do you get back into the game? So to go in 4-1 at half time, you're thinking, right, okay, you know, do we have a chance to go for it? Do you just sit in and we, um, the girls fought to the very end, so we have to take some pride in that. But the big question for us now is how do we bridge that gap? Talking about that, you know, next season, you know, this is the standard that Glasgow City and Hibs have set. As one of the teams who are kind of trying to catch up with them almost in a certain extent, what, what can you do and what do you think will have to be done to, to try and get to that level perhaps? We just need to persevere, we need to keep the process. I think that you can see the, the benefit for Hibs in terms of having players and probably certainly Glasgow City as well that benefit from strength and conditioning and, and additional training resources that um, that other clubs don't have yet and certainly with the amount of resource that Celtic are putting in, Motherwell coming up next year, we know that we're going to need to lift it again um, and we need to continue to make progress. So small details um, can make such a big difference at times. But we need to take a step forward and a big part of that will be retaining the majority of our current squad. In terms of the season that the Rangers have had though, you know, for some of the fans etc and the players, how would you, you rank the season? What's been maybe the positives and the negatives that take away from this year? I think the, the positives are that we've showed a lot of unity. I think that we've got a real camaraderie and a real spirit. I think that from even last year we've made progress but we're very frustrated and the girls are really frustrated because we feel that um, if anything we should be finishing third. We've lost games, but we feel that we shouldn't have lost and um, that's, that, that's made a significant difference and I think that there's been a couple of performances where we've suffered really heavy defeats as well and they're the ones that are probably sore to take because as much as you know that you're playing against a really high calibre uh, players, we know that our consistency and our performance could be much, much better. In terms of for next season, you spoke about Motherwell coming up. You know, SWPL2 is extremely exciting with the teams that are coming up and Hamilton dropping into that division. In terms of Scottish women's football, it is an exciting time to be a part of it. You know, for next season, is there a bit of a buzz, do you think, around being a part of this competitiveness? Yeah, and I think that, you know, it's. Um it's almost uh, every man for themselves for moving into that season where it's probably one of the most stressful where you, you're trying to sign players, you're trying to keep players, you're, you're trying to do everything that you, that you can and knowing that Motherwell are putting the resources into it as well, you know that Kilmarnock aren't far away for probably coming up and they're all within, um, for all the Glasgow clubs, a really similar catchment area. You've also got Hamilton who have obviously just recently went down and they'll still be a force to be reckoned with. So really, really exciting. I think that when the change was made a few years ago it was for this reason to make it more competitive and it certainly has done that but for most of the teams um, third fourth fifth sixth seventh and eighth the question still remains as to how do we close that gap